Now that Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is out in theaters and just crossed 1 billion over at the box office worldwide speaking, a lot of fans have been very curious about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that we do know about the future of the franchise is that Disney and Lucasfilm are really looking to make it by far the best expanded universe as possible. Now, you guys may very well be aware that we have an old EU that started back in the 1980s, the 90s, and the early 2000s is where it ended before Disney and Lucasfilm became one. Now, when we look at Star Wars as a whole, a lot of fans have a lot of problems with the sequel trilogy and a lot of problems with how Disney has handled the Star Wars franchise. And the fact that they are now building towards a new Star Wars trilogy, a new series of films, these three Star Wars movies coming out throughout this entire decade, that's going to bring Star Wars fans into a different mythology of Star Wars, really is quite something. Now, the thing that Disney and Lucasfilm are trying to craft as we speak on top of all of this is a new Star Wars universe. Basically, what they are developing is a new expanded universe that's going to be modeled after the MCU, and this is something where all of the projects will interconnect with each other just like how the Marvel Cinematic Universe works where all the TV shows the movies the books and the novels and the comics and everything like that are all going to connect to each other as one now with that being said what's rather exciting all has to do with creator George Lucas now it's explained that both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently developing their new Star Wars universe also known as the expanded universe that will take Star Wars into a different direction for the fans around the world now, this big decision comes from Disney CEO Bob Iger in order to evolve the franchise and how he realized that so much more can be done with the franchise in order to branch out and, and in order to branch the brand out into something new. Well, however, one of the big plans for Disney and Lucasfilm is to bring on creator George Lucas for the new Star Wars trilogy and that he will be implementing many of his original ideas for the prequel trilogy era for the upcoming new Star Wars films to be released throughout this entire decade and that Disney has a plan for George Lucas to reset the franchise and to evolve the Star Wars brand into something else entirely new. Now, though George Lucas will not be writing or directing the new Star Wars trilogy, he will be involved on a creative level along with Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni by his side. Now, it's noted that Disney needed George Lucas' help for the new trilogy as they are starting from scratch and are bringing the fans into a new mythology of Star Wars, and that they will be using many of George's visions for the new Star Wars trilogy of films, where these new series of movies will also be darker in tone, and will also be higher in budget in comparison to the sequel trilogy movies. Now, this is a decision made by Bob Iger in order to create an authentic Star Wars movie or movies that they are going to begin production on the first film this February, and that a director is going to be announced very soon. It said that it was George's idea to implement as much Star Wars Legends material and his original ideas from the prequel trilogy era into the new Star Wars trilogy as possible, while also bringing in new ideas to tell an original story. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this to me single-handedly saves the Star Wars franchise by George Lucas because they are using a lot of his older ideas for the prequel trilogy era, such as ships, worlds, characters, you name it, that will be a part of this new trilogy, this new era, if you will, as well as using a lot of Star Wars Legends content in the new Star Wars movies. Now, say what you will about George Lucas and the prequels, but one thing that I love so much about them is the consistency. I talked about this numerous times, is that those movies flow greatly. You know, there's no problems in between, there's no inconsistencies, that's the great thing about the prequels. Now, when we look at the Disney Star Wars films, as far as the Skywalker Saga films go by Disney, is that there's a lot of inconsistencies, and that is a given fact, because it all has to do with different creatives and, you know, some of the creative differences that, you know, Colin Trevorrow had with Kathleen Kennedy before he was fired, and how a lot of other creatives were on board for The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens before they were let go as well. So, the fact that this new trilogy, George Lucas is going to be involved on a creative level is very exciting. I think it's a step in the right direction. I think that this is a fantastic move by Disney and Lucasfilm. And on top of all of this, we also have Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni that will be involved on a creative scale for these new Star Wars movies. 
Again, we're going to be getting that director announcement next month, most likely, uh, in February. It was going to be this month of January, but they want to save it for this new earnings call. For Disney, on February 4th, they're going to be announcing something related to the new Star Wars trilogy. And, of course, the new director for the first film of the trilogy. So, that's going to be very exciting. So, February 4th is a new earnings call for Disney. And, we're going to be learning more about everything related to it in that sense. Now, when we look at Star Wars, like I say, I mean, a lot of risk is going into developing this new mythology, obviously, because it's going to be something started from scratch, right? This is going to be a brand new mythology of Star Wars, something that we have never seen before on the big screen. And we do know that they will be borrowing many elements from Star Wars, the old Republic era. So you're going to have a lot of tones of that era in these new Star Wars movies. So, with that being said, guys, I would really like to hear what each and every one of you have to say about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.